evidence of what some believe are our true extraterrestrial origins. The Bible answers the riddle of our origin in four simple words. And God created man. Darwin looked at monkeys and saw Michelangelo. But for modern anthropologists who try to put a name and a date to the dawn of humankind, the answer is constantly changing. Fossils discovered recently in Ethiopia put our earliest ancestors at around 4.4 million years. But some scientists believe that there is evidence that we are much older than that. On an archaeological dig in Wayaplico, Mexico, Dr. Virginia Steen McIntyre discovered tools that predated the earliest known humans. Her find created a storm of controversy. I don't really want to be in the center of a controversy. I never asked to be in the center of a controversy. But I'm here. And um, doggone it, I, I want to get the information out. I want to get at the truth. I guess that's what it is. Why does Dr. Steen McIntyre feel the need to protect her artifacts from her more mainstream colleagues? Why are contradictory findings being met with contempt instead of excitement? Some researchers charge it's because these new findings would turn modern anthropology on its head. I believe that we came from outer space. All the evidence suggests that human beings, as we know them, did not originate on this planet, but have come to this Earth from other dimensions. I believe that we came from outer space, that we are the direct descendants of the intelligent people who landed here a long time ago. Gene Phillips is the founder and president of the Ancient Astronaut Society. He claims that museums are hiding thousands of artifacts that do not conform to their narrow view of anthropology. This is a, an exact replica of uh, an object that uh, is in the Smithsonian Museum, and they call it a stylized insect. The Smithsonian had it on display, and they used to sell replicas in their shop. Phillips claims that after the Ancient Astronaut Society interpreted the object as a prehistoric space shuttle, the Smithsonian removed the original from public display. Phillips and his group have studied more than 150 ancient sites in 30 countries. These 5,000-year-old masks were unearthed in Eastern Europe. They bear a striking resemblance to modern-day depictions of supposed aliens, known as greys. There's a, a site in Bolivia, South America, called El Fuerte. What it looks like is a catapult-type launch site for space vehicles. The Ancient Astronaut Society is not the only group supporting the theory of interplanetary contact. Author Zachariah Sitchin concurs in his book, The Twelfth Planet. And there is one more planet in our own solar system, not light years away, that comes uh, near Earth between Mars and Jupiter every 3,600 years, at which time people, intelligent people, beings like us, come and go between their planet and our planet and brought us homo sapiens about sooner than we might have appeared otherwise. Don't call them aliens because we look like them, they look like us. All we ask is that people have an open mind. Look at something with an open mind with today's space age eyes. Scientists on the fringe of modern anthropology believe that their theories are not taken seriously because mainstream scientists are afraid to admit that they've been wrong. All the textbooks would have to be rewritten. All the exhibits in the museums would have to be changed. This would be very embarrassing. And people who have positions to defend like that don't like to be embarrassed. The idea of alien evolution does sound far-fetched. And its proponents are well aware of the fact that they're looked at as eccentric outsiders. They may not have all the answers. But it's often the so-called eccentrics who ask the most interesting questions. Next, they call him the recomposer of...